<clears throat> SEC Player of the Week. Co. Did you ever see that coming? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I did. Uh, it's just a testament to my teammates, though. So. How good does it feel to, to still continue the success you know, that you've been able to have here, I guess, to, to realize that the hard work's still paying off? Well, I think every day is a work in progress. It's cool to see some fruits of the labor, but like I said, it's it's a testament to the people who were hitting behind me. They drove me in. I couldn't have scored on my own. It's, I'm not out here stealing bases. So um, good job by them throughout the weekend. How would you maybe assess where the offense is after four games? You know, some really good moments and some moments maybe where you guys struggle a little bit. Just how would you assess where, where it's at? I like where we're at. Our job is to score runs. We did a good job of that this weekend, put good at-bats together. Um, you obviously saw the, the mixing and matching in the lineup, which will continue to happen throughout the early spring, as it has the past few years. But the longer or the more we continue to figure out how those pieces uh, fit into the puzzle, I think we're going to be in a really good spot. Jay, Jay kind of talked with us just now about how they're trying to, I don't want to say limit you at catcher because of what you can do offensively for the sure. team, but just how have you been trying to balance that, I guess, offensively, knowing what you can do, and then also being behind the plate at catcher whenever they need you to? Uh, luckily, I got a lot of work in behind the plate in the fall. So I think for me, it's just uh, managing uh, the load. And I still go through my routine of what I do pregame with Al. We still have a routine of catching stuff. So I feel sharp behind there. But um, it happened a few times where you get foul balls and stuff. You can get dinged up pretty easy. So I can understand it from both ways. I'm being respectful. No, they're fine. They're fine. Is it uh, is it more kind of fun and interesting to see how it unfolds as opposed to last year where you knew Cruz, Morbid, the new guys, those guys in the lineup every day. Now you're kind of finding out who those people are going to be. What do you mean? Is it is it interesting just to kind of see it unfold and to see a lot of different guys get a chance to play? Sure. I mean, I really loved watching those guys as well. Trust me, it, it made our lives a lot easier. But I think it's fun to see new guys get opportunities, new faces. Um, I think the system we have as an offense, it's easy for us to plug and play. And I think it speaks to the depth we have from top to bottom, not only just on the offensive side, but you see it with pitchers where they're coming in for specific situations. So I appreciate it. And like I said, I like to see new guys get chances. Uyoa is getting some early you know, momentum. And doing yeah, it. as he should. Yeah, what, what are you seeing out of this guy? Super calm, such a nice human being. Um, the stuff's electric. It definitely ticked up, like Coach said, towards the, the end of the spring. Um, yeah, Coach was like, this guy's stock. And then we faced him the first first uh, scrimmage of the spring, and he cut us up pretty easily. So his stuff's really good, but I, I appreciate him and his nature as a person. You know you're going to get the most nice right? Yeah, well, he's got it going. Two different styles. Um, he's got the Raleigh fingers going. And it works coming out of the pen, too. <laughs> Yeah, like uh, uh, Thurman Munson yeah. type deal. Yeah, that's what we're working with. Uh, back to Glenn's question about being a catcher. Kind of describe to us the pain, I guess, that, and, and what a nice break it is to, to be able to get two or three innings here just, you know, when you can. Uh, a rest. Sure, yeah. I think it's just a grueling process, not only just the catching and being squatted, but like I said, the foul balls, the stuff you can't really – anticipate and react for. Uh, those are, I think, the nicks and bruises that can catch up to you down the long haul. We had it with Al last year where Thumb kind of got him towards the end, but he picked me up. So I appreciate Brady and Al being there because obviously if we don't have them, I'm not able to do what I'm doing. So. I mean, you see you, you, everybody had a good day on Sunday, but Brady, uh, I think home run, six RBIs. Mm -hmm. just, you see yeah, it's a pretty good day. You see the offensive potential there with him. I mean, yeah. just, uh, what, what kind of steps have you seen him take? As he's coming back from this injury. I think he's just continuing to mature as a player. You got, I, I don't think people realize how young he is. He's not even the youngest kid on our team, and he played half a season in college baseball last year. So I think the more he continues to grow and learn, the better he'll be. He's obviously really good behind the plate, and I think it's it goes to that question that we have one of the best staffs as a catching unit in the country. Brady talked, about, well, talked a lot about the other day about how um, he's learned a good bit about uh, throwing out runners by working with uh, you and Alex. Um, is there something that you've learned from Alex and Brady about uh, just throwing out guys? Yeah, that's Al's department. So I think me and Brady have learned from him more than anything. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think 
when you're at a place with so many special players and so many players that have talent, you're able to pick each other's brains and, and kind of uh, benefit yourself from that. So it's easy for us when we get to work with Al, who's obviously really good defensively. And JJ does a great job keeping us in line with what we're doing for the week, what we have planned for the day. And uh, we, they do a good job. Is there something you've learned from Al, I guess, then? Um, yeah, we talk about like the mechanics of the throwdown, stuff like that. Um, just how how to catch the ball coming into a throw. I think that's where Al is, is really, really good at. Do you like putting your hand out in front or behind in terms of getting it out? More uh, I think I usually have it kind of by my hip, but you got to be careful with the foul balls and stuff like that. So. Cage jump in his first career start. What did you see from him this past weekend, and kind of what do you expect for this week? Well, obviously, we're playing the long game with him. There's no point in running him out for six innings at a time at the moment. But like I said in the interview I had last week, it's just special. And uh, I think people got a glimpse of it, and they're going to continue to do so as the season goes along. Steven Milam, tell me about the nickname. Did he come here with Monster? Yeah. Well, I think it's because he was such a bad kid. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even joking when I say that. I think his mother confirmed that this weekend. <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> 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 no, he's great. He's great. He uh, He's really learned and matured from the course of when he got here to now, um, just about how we do things, how to go about his business. And you obviously saw the impact he was able to make immediately. Um, he makes it tough for the pitcher, and he, he capitalizes on mistakes. And I'm excited to watch his career, not even just this year. In no way does he look like a freshman. No, not as a player, absolutely not. Size-wise, maybe. Yeah. I kill, I kill, I kill. Is he, good, is he a good kid? Yeah, he's a good dude. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't terrorize us at least. <laughs> yeah. Well, coach, coach joked around about Saturday. The past game is like a soccer game. Like first team that scores is going to win. What's it like to those early conditions? Sometimes you have to deal with. Well, you got to remember in what was the first year Coach got here, we played twenty something one run games. So I think. Being able to win the blowouts like we did last year, being able to win in close games like we did the year before, having the perfect mix of the two, I think is going to help us come postseason play, um, conference play. I think it's going to benefit us more than anything. A couple hit by pitches? Say again? A couple hit by pitches? Yeah, I'm sure those will come. For you this week, did you have more than one? Uh, you said there were one, like four in a row. One or two. That was in the spring, but yeah. No, in this, this I don't know. I don't know how many I had. Two, maybe? Um, Steve, back in Monster, just his kind of look like it, we all say this like if they're from the west coast it's like a dirtbag style but like he seems pretty gritty like willing to get in there and lean in mm -hmm. and make the plays like is that something this team needs you know at, at, at a freshman level position too kind of character sure i think i think people confuse the notion of freshman and kind of judge that as they will but like you said he doesn't play like a freshman he is a ball player he's a grinder um it's fun to watch the hard-nosed style of play where He's very fearless, and I can appreciate that, um, especially with the age that he is. So, like I said, moving forward, I'm just excited to watch his growth and that competitiveness, like you said. As a catching coach, what makes Josh Jordan, I guess, unique? What makes him stand out? Um, just his understanding of people, because he's not only a, a great catching coach, but a great recruiter. Um, I think it's it would speak to the last few classes that he's had here. but. Uh, he knows how to work with us individually, how to treat us as a staff, as a unit. Um, Coach Yeski does a great job. He's involved with a lot of our meetings as well. Um, but I think he just knows how to manage personalities, and he does that really well. Yeski seems pretty serious in his mound visits. Yeah, in the mound visits, but he's he's able to loosen it up, and he hits me with old man jokes all the time. So, yeah, I, I love Yeski. He's a good dude. Do you know what the latest old man joke was, then? Uh, it just happened so frequently, I couldn't pinpoint it, really. Yeah. Yeah. Good deal. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.